So hey family, it's your girl Jay. Welcome back to the channel, Jay So Tastic. So what? I don't know, but we're doing some upcycling over here. And we're gonna be doing some sewing, girl. Because you know why? Why? You may ask me, why? Because Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. Okay, thank you, Hobby Lobby. Thank you. They have new look patterns on sale for 99 cents. And I'm here to share my haul with you. So if you wanna see my haul, come on back to the channel and I'll just wait until I slide it over with the next slide and then you'll get to see what your girl got. She is pretty excited because she got a lot of patterns and I'll let you know how many in the next one. So welcome back y'all. Welcome to my new subscribers. Hey y'all, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, hey y'all, hey y'all, hello. If this is not, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, your girl got 19 new look patterns that she wanna share with y'all, okay? So I'm gonna start with the smallest pile first, which is um, new look. Um, they're all new look, so I'm not gonna keep saying new look, new look, okay? Cause they all new look. And uh, this is 6728. Okay, and this is a cute little dress here. Your girl is short, so she can handle it. Okay, she can handle it. She's short. And this one is, I'm just going to give you suggested fabrics um, because this one is different. I'm going to need either brocades, gauze, linen, poplins, sateen, um, and lightweight interfacing. So that's what I'm going to need for this one. Um, particularly, I like um, this view right here. Uh, with the short sleeves because it's summertime. So I'm thinking about blue. So I'm I'm getting these patterns for the spring and summer so I can start sewing them up real, real quick, okay? So um, I do have some fall and um, let me share those with you real quick. Uh, let's see. I have uh, pat, uh, number 6545, which is a bomber jacket, okay? So I can throw this over anything. And then you see, I have different options to color block or do whatever I want to do with it. And then, you know, I can do denim, corduroy, flannel, ponte, poplin, whatever my heart desires I can do. And I need a bomber jacket. Who don't need a bomber jacket? Okay. And the other one is also for the fall. Now the bomber jacket could be spring, fall. It could be whenever you want to be. And everything else can be too. Okay. So yeah, I but I have not made a jacket before, nor have I made a coat. And these things involve zippers. So your girl is stepping out. She's stepping out and uh, out of her comfort zone. And she's starting to, to get zippers involved. And she's starting to get pockets and uh, probably buttons and stuff like that that she's going to be working on. So here's the next one. This is a fall. Love this coat. This can be made out of like a gray flannel, like, you know, like a whole gym set. But I wanted to get something like this I can wear. Um, I can make it short, I can make it medium, or I can make it long. It's got a hood to it, or you don't have to have the hood, so it doesn't matter. And um, double face or reversible fabric only. Okay, so um, that would be the wool types, the fleece, ponte, wrong side of the fabric will show because you don't have to add a lining to this. So you find something that looks, you know, the same on both sides. So double-sided fabric with this one. Okay. And then um, the next two I got is uh, 6745, which is cargo pants with pockets. I already have the notions for this. So yeah, your girl gonna try to make some cargo pants before, you know, by the time fall hit back around. And yeah, that one is cotton blend, nylon, ponte, sweatshirt, fleece, normal, normal fabrics. And then I got some PJs because I need some PJs. And people be asking me for PJs in like um, Packers or Bears or, you know, in their favorite team. So I'm going to start making some um some PJs for folks, whether it be pants or shorts, and then it's for men and women. So um, you guys know about that. That's the cotton blends and all of them, gingham and, and broadcloth, chambray, sear, suck, su sear sucker, um, silks, and silk type jerseys. So I can make them. I got some 
silky satin red fabric over here that I can make these in. And um, you don't get a top with them. You just get the pants. Okay. So I know y'all don't need to see all of that line drawings and all that stuff. Because I'll show it to you once again. Because I got to cut all this stuff up. That's the only thing that I'm not going to like is that I, ooh, I need a cutting party. So who want to have a cutting party? Who live here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, want to come over and have a cutting party? Let me know in the comments. Okay. <laughs> and then, okay, 6005. Um, it, which is several different pair of pants. Who don't always need different types of pants? Okay, I know I do. I do, I do, I do. So I am. <laughs> and so these are um, suggested fabrics, cotton, cotton blend, chambray, lightweight, denim, twill, whatever I want to make them out of. I will try silk rayon, all that flowy fabric material with drawstring. And so, yeah, elastic and, and it does require buttons. Um, yeah. So yeah, there we go. We're going to try to, I don't know if you sew the buttons on or do you, I don't know, but we're going to figure it out when we get to it. Um, and then I found a really, really cute top. I need some tops, different tops for the summer. There we go. Okay. And this is a uh, pattern 6575. And uh, suggested chalice, uh, chambray, cotton lawn, double Georgetta, gauze, soft, lightweight, linen types, silky types. And it says allow extra fabric for matching plaids or whatever, you know, when you're doing things that um, are have patterns to them. Okay. So, yeah. All right. All right. New look, new look, new look. Okay, y'all. And then we're going to go into... All of the, these are all um, patterns with um, charmeuse, cotton linen, crepe, crepe de chine, double Georgetta, silky type. So all of these have that in them. And it says not suitable for one way design fabric. Allow extra fabric for matching. Okay. And that's this first one. So you got, when you buy the, this one and you want to do a pattern, you need to allow extra fabric for matching because you don't want your dress looking off if it's got prints on it. Okay, so this is um, 6617. Isn't she cute, y'all, for the summer? Oh, my goodness. You can wear this with some flats. You can dress it up with some heels. You can even rock it with some dookies or some Doc Martens, whatever you want to do. Girl. Okay, fellas, don't y'all want to see us in a cute little dress like that? Okay, all right, all right. I do, I do. Okay. <laughs> And I have another dress. I did get a lot of dresses because of the fact that um, spring is summer. Okay, next. Uh, $64.91. Okay, this is cute. All right, another cute long or short. So I did get patterns that give me options. Because you know what? A girl got to have options. Trust me. All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, this one is a cutie, and it's 6509. I thought she was really like, you know, if you want to get a little flirty and show a little shoulder or whatever have you, get a little sexy on, get your sexy on, or get it back, or find it, or whatever you need to do, girl. Get out. Y'all see that number? I see the light shining on it. There we go. Okay. And then um, another long dress that can be short and it can be a top. Okay. So, yeah. Different necklines. This is pattern 6372. All right. Look at that. You can put a chain around that, around that part of your neck to hold the dress up. Or you can use, I know I can't wear certain jewelry if it's, you know, because it's got to be hyperallergenic because I guess something about having nickel in your skin, it makes you break out when you wear fake jewelry. Um, yeah. Or should I say costume jewelry? Not that. Okay. But yeah, I like this. This is nice for a, a nice evening. Um, it could be an all white affair. I can make that in an all white dress. It, girl. Because when we be stepping, they be having all white affairs. And, you know, you can wear a lot of these. You can make them for an all white event and wear them in somebody's backyard or, or 
we have summer fest going on where we usually have an all white affair it would be nice to wear it then and this one is a couple of uh, different tops um that you can wear it is 65 14. okay i like this this is when you want to be one of those comfortable days where you could take a pair of those pants that um that i had in there and um like a pair of these pants put it under this top see this is why i got uh these patterns because i want them to be patterns that i can coordinate with one of them because you know what my thing is what i want to do is i want to do a project runway uh whole um a runway thingy okay and i want to have different um um outfits that i've made but they all um what is that what is the word where they all they're all cohesive and so and yeah i want to do that i i have a desire to do that now when i'm gonna do it i don't know but i'm gonna do it um anyway next thing these are all patterns that are all knit okay any kind of knit all right that's what these are all about so uh 6288 as you can see we have um some skirts that are cute so i could even if i wanted to y'all i could take this top and put a skirt up under it you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm saying you gotta have stuff that's versatile in your in in your in your uh what is i want to say in your catalog okay you gotta have versatile stuff um i like this dress here um it's just a simple long dress this is pattern 6210 and it is very simple it is something that when you want to run to the store you want to look cute and you just want to throw something on and it is hot as all heck outside you just throw it on got a cute little razor back i like that you could have the razor back or you could have just a straight back because some people might not want they back back uh -huh. Back for head up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Um, I just want to look tasteful when I do it. If if I got a little back fat, then maybe I need to do some more pull-ups and you know with, with the stretch cords. So anyway, um, yeah, I like this pattern. 6210, simple dresses. You can have a V-neck, scoop neck, and razor back or no razor back. Okay. All right, we almost done, y'all. Hang on in there. Like I said, these are all knits. This is almost like you know, fall when fall hit. I can wear this with some tights and I I like a V-neck because the V-neck gives me length. Okay, because I'm five two and I'm a full figure girl. So I sometimes I need some extra skin showing that gives me some, you know, not the cut off of right at the neck, you know, because I'm already short and I got a short torso. So, you know, hey, this will be cute for the fall with some stockings on and some boots. Um, yeah, so you can wear like mid ish you know like in this part of the arm it looks like it goes there so um that's what we're gonna do with that one 62.98 okay i'm telling y'all better go if you're trying to learn how to sew and you want something simple to make this is the pattern right here 67.30 all right this is you can't get no simpler than this this is like two pieces with some elastic waists and all that kind of, and a stretch knit. So I don't know how you could go wrong. So for my newbies, my beginners, y'all better get this pattern. It is 99 cent. It is the easiest two piece things you can make. Like these tops, they have zippers in them, but you know what? You don't have to put a zipper in there. You could just, you know, make that center seam and close it down and be done with it or not, or cut it without a seam. So you have to know how to do that. But, um, it shouldn't be hard because you got to make a back, a front, and the sleeves. So you got a back, a front, and sleeves. So that's what? Four pieces? Four pieces. Oh, you can't beat that. And you can do the V-neck, okay? And uh, the skirts, one is flare and one is not. Um, one is A-line. I think that's A-line. And then you could do the pants. And then you got short skirt, long skirt. You can't go wrong. Beginners, grab this pattern. If you don't grab nothing else, grab this pattern, okay? Trust me. All right, y'all. All right. I'm always looking for a good jogger. 6142. I walk Winston in the morning. 
And sometimes I just be wanting to throw something on. And um, I know I was showing some patterns to my daughter yesterday and she's like, oh, mine, that look dated. Well, they may look, but I told her, don't pay attention to what the picture looks like now. It's Jay so tested. It's Jay so tested. And she will make it do what it do. She gonna make it do what it need to do for me, okay? <laughs> so, so I got this pattern, 6142. Um, it's a jogger suit. So you got the pants, the top. Here you got the pants, the top. And the reason why they look different, because some of them got little ties on the top. Some of them don't. Okay. And the difference between this top, there's really no difference. Um, the jackets got hoods um, and pockets. I, yeah, I don't know. There's no difference. And then you got a tank top if you want to throw a tank top under there. And like I said, the difference between the pants is elastic or um, elastic with a tie. Okay, so this is another easy pattern if you don't know how to make a pair of pants. This is two pieces, y'all. Two pieces to make a pair of pants. Okay, you put the pants on the fold and start cutting. Don't just cut, lay it flat and then start, you know, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, but anyway. All right, this is another simple pattern, 6529, if you just want to throw over. And sometimes, see, your girl got a. Big butt, and I can't not that. <laughs> but anyway, I do. And so this is perfect for me. Okay, so it's not exposing anything. And it comes with different kind of leggings. I know I just bought a pattern to make leggings. And yeah, I didn't really like it, but it came out okay. Um, but you have different ways. You can put a pocket on there. She has a pocket on hers. There's the pocket view right there. Okay, and you can do it without a pocket, long sleeves. You can do, I think this one has, it looks like it's got a little, um, the little thumb holes in them. So you can do one with the thumb holes, and then you can do one without the thumb holes, but cut off at the chest. Now, I don't know if that's very flattering to me. I think just straight to me would be flattering because if something goes across my chest, it ain't so flattering, but I might try it anyway just to see where it comes to and where it falls. Now, the difference with the leggings is they're all the same. they all the same legging. It looks like it. Uh, yeah, A. It's one A, one pattern drawing. So, yeah, just so you can see that there. And like I said, this is knits. Uh, okay, last one, y'all. Last but not least, um, this is a shirt dress and a straight dress. With sleeves or without, and this is sixty four forty nine. Did I tell y'all what this was? Uh, sixty five twenty nine. Okay, and then sixty four forty nine. There's that one. Okay, there's the shirt dress. I like this dress. Shirt dress. I probably I can get away with this because I'm short. Okay, Winston in the background, y'all. He always in the background. <laughs> he is somewhere in the background, and it has a belt to it. And this is also a knit. Okay, this is stretch knits only for A and B. Okay, and for C, you probably could use denim. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So you can make a denim shirt dress, which is really, really cute. I think I have one of those already. Um, so this will come out um, really, really cute. But I do, I got it not so much for the shirt dress, but and then you could do it with a collar, without a collar. So there it has a collar. Here it has a round neck collar. Here it has pockets but no sleeves. Here it has one pocket and short sleeves. So you have some options and then you can wear them together. So you see how I mix and match it? Because if I wanted to take the shirt dress and then add the leggings, I could do that. I could do that, yo. And if I wanted to take the, the camo top in here and add that under there, I could do that too. So your girl got things so she could be versatile, okay? I just didn't get patterns and say, I'm going to make one thing on here. No, I want my stuff to uh, uh, be cohesive. I want it to, to, to mix and match because I'm trying to build a wardrobe. And you can't build no wardrobe with what well, you can. But I want, yeah, I don't want to have to keep going and buying patterns. So I have 19 patterns here. And that should keep your girl busy, but there, well, there is something in McCall that I saw a slip dress that I want, and I want to see if it's on sale because I know McCall having a sale too. So I do want to make a silk dress, a silk 
uh, slip dress. I think I shared that with y'all before out of this fabric. I want to make a silk slip dress. So, I, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I'm also making a blanket for my daughter. Um, she picked out some fabric. Um, so I'm going to make a baby blanket for my daughter. So, you know, if y'all want to see that, uh, leave me the word rainbow in the comments. But everything else is fine. As y'all can see, her, your girl is done with this one. She's done, y'all. She is done. The pockets are on. She is done, y'all. She done. She ready to wear. And um, I'm going to put her on and record her tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow because um, maybe Friday I'm going to, I think it's going to be nice because I want to record this outside. And so um, it's nice today, but today I was shopping. I was doing some other things. And then I want to give you more than one look with the skirt. So I'm trying to coordinate that and see how it works. And Winston is begging for me to pick him up. I don't know. Where are y'all? Hold oh, it. Y'all know he always out of hand. He always driving me nuts. Look, look. look Winston, say hi. Say hi. Y'all say hi to the people. Winston, say hi. Say hi, people. Yeah, he wash my hands constantly because you know why? He think it's a treat in it. But it is 21 minutes into this video. I'm going to let y'all go. I want to say thank you for watching. Oh, and your girl is, I'm still, y'all. Okay. We getting there, y'all. There's the back. Okay. The back of the dress. I'm starting the back of it. Here is the front. Okay. We still working on that. And I am not done with the bag. Uh, I'm going to be done with the bag. I've seen your comments. I've seen your responses. Yes. I think we're going to do a live when we give away the bag so I, that I'm fair. So those that left a blue heart in two videos ago, I think it was. So if you haven't seen that video, you need to go back and watch it and then leave whatever I asked for and leave that in the comments if you want to. Um, Hold on, let me share the bag with y'all just so you see what it is because not everybody can deal with this type of fabric, okay? And this is my first time making a bag, but if you want a JSOTastic bag, this will be the first one I've ever made and I planned on giving it away, okay? So, yeah, it's, it's it, it, you know, if you don't want it, I will keep it for myself, no problem, because I can put all my sewing notions in here when I'm going somewhere or whatever have you, because it's got pockets in the inside. The same pockets that's on the outside are in the inside. And the bag to me is very sturdy. Very, it's going to last a long time because it's a very thick, almost like a upholstery type fabric. So, but with that said, I'm going to get off here, y'all, because I need to go walk Winston uh, for his evening walk. We walked this morning. Now it's an evening walk. We were out playing this afternoon and then we went to Hobby Lobby. My daughter came, got me, took me, and she bought me. I bought six of them and she bought the other 13. So, thank you, daughter, if you're watching. <laughs> um, yeah, I love her. That's my princess. Um, yeah, but anyway, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, J So Tastic. So, what? We're doing some upcycling over here. And we're picking up on the sewing. All right. See y'all in the next video. Bye.